hello everyone in this video i am going to discuss determination of thickness of thin mica using by prism that is determination of thickness of thin mica using pipe prism okay in last video we have discussed experimental arrangement of prisonal by prism and the prisonal by prism experiment can be used to determine the thickness of a given thin sheet of transparent materials such as glass mica let us suppose this is the thin glass sheet or mica we can find its thickness by using prisonal by prism experiment okay let us recall the prisonal by prism experiment which we have studied in earlier class here i am going to take by prism and screen here i am going to consider a source we have denoted this is the source this is the by prism and this is the screen and we know that from source a light waves are going to incident on prisonal by prism and at the center the light waves are not going to refract they hit directly on screen and light waves from source has incident on upper portion and they refract and incident on screen then same from source as incident on a lower portion and they refract and incident on screen and if we draw these lines if you extend these lines these two lines here we are going to get s1 and s2 that is virtual sources that is if we observe from this side it seems that the light is coming from s1 and if you observe from here it seems that the light waves are coming from s2 that's why with single source using by prism we have created two virtual sources and it is center point and we denote this by o and here a diffraction pattern is observed that is at center central bright brand is going to form and after that a dark one then this is little brighter as compared to the central one and in same way a diffraction pattern is obtained this is the central bright fringe okay here central bright fringe is formed at point o let us suppose if we denote these points m and n then this m and n are divided equally by point o in the same way here to determine thickness of glass or mica what we are going to do same thing that is there are two virtual sources which are formed by by prism it is s1 and it is s2 and here we are going to take a screen and what we are going to do we are going to introduce a thin glass or mica in the path of light s1 or s2 that is here what i am going to i am going to introduce a thin glass or mica in the path of source s1 here what happens these light waves incident at screen because of refraction it is going to incident here and here due to presence of glass these waves travel at this point they slightly refract and this is the central point 
here we can see that it is O and this is P here what happens when we introduce glass plate or mica a central bright fringe is slightly shifts towards P that is here a central bright fringe is formed at P and the distance between source and screen is capital D and the distance between two sources is small d and here the central band which shifts towards P this distance we denote it by X here the path traveled by source S1 to O and the path traveled by source S2 towards O are same that is the optical path difference that is here delta S1 O is the optical path difference which is equal to delta S2 O here both the optical paths are same here because of class the central white fringe shifts towards P because of the source S1 partly it travels in air and partly in medium here it is having thickness small t and it is it is having refractive index mu here part of it travels in air and part of light travels in medium because of this the optical path difference that is delta s1 p is not equal to the delta s2 p because here the light travels in medium due to this its optical path is not equal the distance traveled by source s1 in air is s1 p minus t because some of the light is traveled in the medium so we are going to subtract by its thickness it is the distance traveled in air and the distance traveled by source s1 in medium is t and let us write the optical path of source s1 that is uh, here we know that here we know that distance is equals to time into speed or we can write t is equals to d by c that is time is equals to distance by velocity here let us write the optical path of source s1 that is it is denoted by delta s1 p which is equals to s1 p minus t this is the distance traveled in air and the velocity of light in air is c so here i am going to write here c plus the distance traveled in medium divided by here in place of c we are going to write v because the light when when light travels in medium we denote light by v so this is the optical path of source s1 similarly let us write optical path for second source which is equals to s2 p divided by c because the light wave completely travels in air that's why we have written here c okay now let us write the optical path difference optical path difference which is given by delta s1 p minus delta s2 p is equals to 0 and if you substitute these values or we can write it as a delta s1 p is equals to delta s2 p and let us substitute delta s1 p and delta s2 p values from above equations then we get s1 p minus t divided by c plus here 
I am going to multiply and divide by C in this term. Then we are going to get C by V into T into 1 by C. But we know that refractive index N is equals to C by V where C is the velocity of light in air and V is the velocity of light in medium. This ratio is going to give refractive index and here we have taken refractive index of medium is mu. So I can, we can write C by V by mu which is equals to S to P and in place of C by mu let us substitute mu then we are going to get S1 divided by C S1 P minus T divided by C plus mu T divided by C S2 P divided by C here C is going to cancel in both terms then we are going to get after cancelling C we are going to get S1 P minus T plus mu T is equals to S2 P here what I am going to rearrange the terms then we are going to get mu T minus T is equals to S2 P minus S1 P here I am going to take T as a common then I am going to get mu minus T into mu minus 1 is equals to S2 P minus S1 P this is the geometrical path difference and we have and we know that the geometrical path difference is given by S2 P minus S1 P is equals to X into D small d divided by capital D here X is the distance between O to P and D small d is the distance between two sources and capital D is the distance between source and screen here I am going to substitute this value in the above equation then we are going to get T mu minus 1 is equals to X D by capital D here if you rearrange the terms we are going to get T is equals to X D divided by mu minus 1 into capital D this is the thickness of glass or mica from this equation we can calculate the thickness of the thin mica or glass and in this term t is the thickness where x is the distance of central bright fringe which shifts towards p and d is the distance between two sources and mu is the refractive index of the medium which is used and d is the distance between source and screen ok